Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is another CSR net question of 2023 June and this is 704089 is our question, this is question ID and the uh, problem is seen here, this is another uh, problem on topology. Uh, which of the following statements are correct? Option 1 says that the set of uh, open right up planes is a basis for the usual topology on R2. Number 2 says that the set of lines parallel to y axis is a basis for the dictionary order topology on R2. Option 3 says that the set of open uh, rectangles is a basis for the usual topology on R2. And option 4 says that the set of line segments without endpoints parallel to y axis is a basis for the dictionary order topology on R2. Uh, first of all, we will see about the usual topology. Uh, uh, it is in option 1 and option 3. So, look at option 3. The set of open rectangles is a basis for the usual topology on R2. We know that in R, open intervals, the collection of all open intervals will form a base for the usual topology on R. And also we know that the collection of all uh, open disks, the collection of such open disk, the interior of the circle open disk will form a base, will form a base for the usual topology or Euclidean topology on R2. And see here, if we let script BU is the collection of all such open disk and Script BR is the collection of all open rectangles on R2 and if we say that uh, if we let that script BU forms, uh, script BU generates the topology tau U that is our Euclid, uh, usual topology or Euclidean topology on R2 and if we let that script BR generates the topology tau R on R2. Now we will show that this tau u and tau r will be same. There is a result the uh, comparison of two topologies uh, with the help of their basis. So first of all if we take any uh, such uh, element in script b u that means any open disk and any element x from here then easily we can find an open rectangle in this area. So this means that uh, this script BR, script BR generates the larger topology. That means we will get tau u subset of tau r. So that is why actually uh, we have done, we have taken an element say b1 belongs to script b u and we have find an element B2 belongs to script BR such that this X belongs to B2 subset of B1. It means that uh, tau R will generate the larger topology. And exactly in a similar manner, if we take an element script BR, that means an open rectangle and any element Y from here, then easily we can find an open disk which lies entirely in this open rectangle that means uh, this script b u generates the larger topology so tau r is subset of tau u so we have tau u equal to tau r so which we have now get that uh, if this script b r is the collection of all open rectangles then this script BR generates the topology tau R which is equal to actually tau U usual topology. So the collection of all open rectangles will uh, generate the usual topology on R2 that means this is the basis for the Euclidean uh, topology on R2. So option 3 is right. Option 3 is right. Now look at the uh, look at option 4 uh, sorry look at option 1. Uh, here says that the set of open right up planes is a basis for the usual topology on R2. Uh, 
uh, we all know about the uh, we all know the definition of a basis uh, just remind that uh, a collection script b of subsets of a non empty set x is said to be basis if number 1 for any x belongs to x there exists an element b belongs to script b such that x belongs to b and number 2 if we take two elements b1 b2 belongs to script b with x belongs to b1 intersection b2 then there exist another element b3 belongs to script b such that x belongs to b3 is subset of b1 intersection b2 so uh the if a script b a collection of subsets of x satisfies these two conditions then we will say that script b is a base for some topology on x now uh, again look at the option 1 uh, the set of open right half planes is a basis for the usual topology on r2 so we now show that option 1 will not be correct so consider uh, in r2 consider two right half planes number 1 b1 is considered that this right half planes that x y belongs to r2 such that x greater than 0 that means uh in this area x greater than 0 in this area and consider another right half planes b2 equal to the collection of all x y such that y greater than 0 that means in this area so clearly here our b1 intersection b2 our b1 intersection b2 will be this area that x y belongs to r2 such that x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 the area in first quadrant uh, excluding this x axis y axis so now we will show that option 2 will not satisfy so take any point from here take any point x comma y x comma y from b1 intersection b2 and to satisfy script b is a basis we need to find another element b3 such that x comma y belongs to b3 should be subset of b1 intersection b2 but see there is no such right half planes which will be entirely contained in this first quadrant because if we take such this right half planes then uh, this plane there will be point here there will be point in this area in b3 and which will not be in b1 intersection b2 so we cannot find a right half plane which contains x comma y and which will be subset of b1 intersection b2 so this script b the collection of all such right half planes will not form a basis will will not form a, ba a basis for the usual topology on r2 so option 1 is not correct now look at option 2 and option 4 this is about dictionary order topology on r2 see first uh, we will see the basis uh, the base of the dictionary dictionary order topology on r2 and see the figure here uh, this is from the book bankresh this figure so here says that uh, this two type of collection see here if a less than c then this uh, collection of this type of lines and also uh, from this figure this type of uh, line segments parallel to y axis uh, if a equal to c uh, this is uh, without the endpoints so these two the collection of these two types uh, uh, the sets of uh, collection of these two types will form a base for the dictionary or topology on r2 and also see here 
द सब कलेक्शन ऑफ दिस टू कलेक्शन दैट मीन्स ओनलि इफ उ कन्सिडार ओनलि दिस टाइप अफ कलेक्शन दैट मीन्स दिस टाइप अफ लाइन सेगमेंट पैराल टू वाई एक्सिस उदाउट द इन पॉइंट दिस टाइप अफ कलेक्शन अल्सो फर्म्स अ बेस फर द डिक्शनारी और टपोलॉजी एंड आर्ट टू एंड सी हेयर उ हैव वन अपशन हेयर दैट द सेट अफ लाइन सेगमेंट उदाउट एन पॉइंट पैराल टू वाई एक्सिस इज ए बेसिस फर द डिक्शनारी और टपोलॉजी एंड आर्ट टू सो आवर अपशन फोर इज कारेक्ट एंड नाउ उल शो दैट अपशन टू उल नट उथ द कारेक्ट एनसार सी हेयर सेज दैट द सेट अफ लाइन पैराल टू वाई एक्सिस is a basis for the dictionary or topology on r2 so we now show that we now show that if we consider the collection script b of all the uh, lines parallel to y axis then script b will not form a base so to show that uh, we need to show that uh, if script b is a base then what is the condition to be a base that if we take any open set say u belongs to that topology say tau then we have to find a member b belongs to script b such that this b subset of u so we now show that this this uh, condition will not be true so uh, first of all we have this type of collections of uh, by by option 4 and also written here that is if we consider the collection say script b uh, say script b2 uh, of all such uh, line segments parallel to y axis uh, without the end points will form a base for the topology tau and clearly then script b2 that base is a sub collection of tau so all the members of script b2 will be open set so consider one element one such line segment consider one such line segment from this script b2 and say u equal to our this line segment so to be script b is a base what we need to find and a member b belongs to script b such that this b should be subset of u but see this b consists of members which are only the lines parallel to y axis and this u is the only a line segment parallel to y axis this type so any member b belongs to script b that means any line which is parallel to y axis cannot be a subset of this line segment u so this script b does not form a base for the dictionary or topology on r2 so option 2 is not correct